top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap mail. Yo guys, what is going on Tim Pursue? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really cool uh, gaming logo in the Plexus style. Um, I'll show you an example when we get over into Photoshop. But yeah, it's a really, really, you'll be able to see it in the thumbnail as well. But yeah, it's a really cool style, very easy to do and it looks amazing. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Come and break 100 likes on this video. If we do, I'll leave a template down below, free to download if we break 100 likes. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Comment down below what videos you'd like to see from me next on the channel. And with that being said, let's get on into the video. Okay guys, so we are here in Photoshop. So this right here is what we're going to be designing. It's very, very nice and looking. Um, and yeah, so let's just get straight on into it. So what you want to do, um, I'm just going to close this. Uh, and ignore this, I'm actually working on a drawing at the moment. So yeah, let's just open a new document. Uh, so what you want to do is go to 500 by 500 pixels and I'm just going to change the resolution to 300. Um, so the first thing you want to do is create a background and we're going to choose a dark blue. You can choose whatever colour you're planning on making it on. Um, in the end you can always change the hue and saturation but I'm going to start off with a dark blue. Then go to brush, make it white. and at the bottom you just want to add a spot of white and change it to overlay and then at the top you want to add a spot of white and just bring down the opacity of it to about 20% and then add a new layer go to black and just around the outside so just gonna add a little shadow like so and then bring down the opacity of that to 20% um, and then next, what we're going to do is going to go over to Google and you want to type in Plexus background and just choose one that you like the look of. Um, I think, yeah, I use this one right here. You guys don't have to use this one, you can find a better one. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to use this one. Control V to paste it. Hold Shift and Alt to bring down the size. And we're just going to put it right in the middle. Like so. Um, and what you want to do is set it to either lighten or screen, either one works. I'm going to use screen and then bring down the opacity of it a bit and bring it below all the other layers. Um, and then next what you want to do is on top of everything add a new layer. Go to white and in certain areas we're going to add a spot of white and set it to overlay so there's just certain parts that are glowing more than others so maybe there 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 and set it to overlay and then one more thing add a new layer and make it quite small and where there's these little circle areas we're gonna add certain spots of white just to make them glowing as well and just random places want to keep it quite random that'll be fine and then set that to overlay and it just makes it look really cool um, and then next we're just going to add some colour corrections so if you just go to brightness and contrast bring the brightness down and the contrast up and then go to curves and then click here and then down there and then this really makes a really cool glowing effect it makes the bright areas pop and the dark areas darker Bring the exposure up, bring the offset up a bit as well, like so, and then the gamma correction, bring that up. Looking really cool at the moment, and then add a new, uh, a new adjustment, go to colour balance, and whichever colour you're using, you want to move it over to that side, so cyan. I'm going to move it over to magenta, because I like giving it a purpley effect, and then blue, of course, and then just group them all together. As you can see, big difference. Um, and then what you want to do is go over to the text, um, and then just I'm using I'm going to use Uranium, which is a font you can get on defont.com. Uranium, as you can see, and I'm just going to put logo, and just put it in the middle, resize it, something like that, rasterize it, and 
what you want to do is divide it into two. So using the polygonal lasso to lasso lasso tool. Sorry, uh, and then you just want to divide it, join it up, Control C, and then delete it, then Control V, and it basically just puts it on a new layer, and you can align that again like so. So you now got go and low like so that rhymes <laughs> but yeah you want to go to low add a gradient overlay black to white bring down the opacity to 30 percent then add an inner glow bring uh, set it to overlay and bring down the opacity to 40 percent and yeah you get just a cool shiny effect on the uh, uh, the low part of the text and then on the go part of the set text or whatever uh, text you're using um, yeah you want to go to select modify contract and five is decent um, you can do thinner than that um, but nothing bigger than that in my opinion then go to, and then press on the layer and press delete and it gives it a cool outline so next we're gonna actually split the text up using the polygonal lasso tool we're just gonna divide certain areas so if you just watch I'm gonna delete this part right here it doesn't have to be too even as well so I'm just gonna delete there I might delete down here as well you don't want to delete too much so you can't actually read the text um, yeah so something like this I'm gonna delete here Press delete and yeah that's looking pretty cool I'm just gonna do one little um, delete over here and then I'm gonna do some more on this side as well so yeah it doesn't take too long um, very simple you can also use a pen tool um, or even the eraser would look cool if you don't if you don't want sharp edges like I'm going for you can use the eraser tool and that, that'll look pretty good as well like it's glowing um, and then yeah once you've done that you've got something like this you can still kind of read it which is what you want and then you want to set the blend mode to overlay you can't really read it now but if you press ctrl J and then ctrl J again um, it's, it sort of brings it back a bit we, it's too white in my opinion so what we're going to do is erase some of uh, some areas like down here maybe over there and there just random places just erase and as you can see it gives it a cool glowing effect like so so once you've done that we're almost done what you want to do is go back over to the plexus um, backgrounds and what I did I scrolled down and I used this one right here you don't have to use this one you can obviously find a new one but this is the one I'm gonna use I'm just gonna place it over the top of the um, second part of the text um, and you guys do the exact same like so I'm just gonna shrink it down so it's sort of the same size and you want to set it to color dodge I think yeah, color dodge, and we're just gonna erase um, anywhere that is outside of the text. So it's mainly just on top of this text here, as you can see. Um, and then yeah, to finish it off, what I do is go to whatever color you're using. So for me, it's blue. And then at the bottom right, I'm gonna click, and then maybe at the side over here, and you want to set that to color dodge and then add a new layer go to white and click in the corners where you've just done so there and there and set that to overlay and it gives it a cool glowing effect maybe the blue is a bit too bright so I'm going to bring that down a little bit and then finally you can add some more color corrections what I'm going to do is just duplicate the color corrections from before and bring it on top of everything 
and it looks really cool uh, one last thing as well you can add a spot of white at the top but yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you did enjoy today's video if you did hit the like button if we break 100 likes i'll leave a template down below but obviously you'll have to do the text yourself because i've rasterized it and stuff but the background will be there so yeah 100 likes and i'll release the template subscribe if you're new let me know what videos you'd like to see from me next on the channel hope you're all having a sick day today and i'll see you in the next video